So usually when we're on the ocean and we see somebody in the distance and we want to radio them to make sure that they know where we are and that we are here so they don't hit us, the conversation goes a little something like this. Uh, Wisdom, we do not see you on our AIS. Uh... After that, they usually just say something like, oh, we'll, uh... We'll keep an eye out for you, or something like that, and we just kind of track them with our eyes as much as we can until they are safely away from us. But we're kind of tired of that whole situation. We're tired of feeling like um, we can see them, but they can't see us. So that brings us to our question for all of you. Which AIS unit do you guys recommend for a transmitter? The reason that we don't have an AIS system as it is right now is the cost. It's just in the past it's been so expensive. It's yeah, it been was... something that's been very hard for us to say, all right, we got to just put our feet down, deal with it, and bite the bullet. But now, uh, since we're about to go into the Mediterranean, we think it's necessary. And we're going to go through the Strait of Gibraltar, which is like one of the most trafficked regions on Earth. So, we want to transmit. Safety first, yeah. uh, for both them and us. I think it's really time. So please, let us know in the comments down below um, if you have a system that you really like. If you have any suggestions for us, we really appreciate it as we uh, delve into this process of trying to yes. pick out our best the best option. Also, we can buy one here in Europe. We're also heading home to the U.S. like right now. Yeah, in a few minutes. <laughs> so we can buy one in the states. Like so, geography's no issue. Yeah. Let us know where we will pick it up. Time skip. Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God! It's such a long flight. Now in the States, and I've looked at West Marine to see what they have available, and there's two that I'm really liking. So if you guys can help me choose between the two. One is M-Track. It's a Class A transceiver, and it's just shy of $800. The other one is uh, an ICOM, which is, you know, they're ICOM. So what's not the love? And it's a Class B transceiver. Uh, if you guys can give me some input, give me some options on these. And if you guys have any other ideas for any other ones, please let me know. I want to know because we're going to buy this sucker really soon because we're heading back to Portugal really soon.